I'm interested in a lot of things related to uh, language learning teaching, but in particular uh, in the area of assessment, uh, formative assessment and assessment feedback, um, because I'm, I'm interested to know the potential of uh, different types of assessment in enhancing students' uh, language learning outcomes. Well, today's presentation is based on a project that I did three years ago when I was teaching in a community college. Uh, it's about uh, students' perception of doing collaborative writing and receiving feedback on Google Docs in an academic writing course. And any, any insights you, you shared with uh, our participants today on, on that project of yours? Well, um, it, it's a big project and um, th there's paper out there that, that fully describe what happened. But in the presentation, what I really want to highlight is the potential or the affordances of Google Docs uh, for students to engage interactively with peers and with uh, teachers. And I think one of the highlights in my presentation is that students seem to treasure the timeliness of uh, feedback given online because they can act on it and they can ask questions, they can reply, they can you know, interact both inside and outside the classroom. And I think this uh, power uh, of extending learning beyond the classroom is something I'm very interested in and I think it would help students learning a lot because nowadays we're talking about not only lifelong learning but uh, life-wide learning. Mm -hmm. That means we can learn anywhere, anytime we like. I think, yeah, recently I have been looking, looking at, I mean, I'm still uh, primarily focused on assessment and feedback, but I'm looking into the fields of computer-assisted language learning and learner autonomy and how these two fields could contribute and maybe synthesize with some of my research on feedback.